This is hydrogen tap. It's now 11.50 Saturday night, p.m., August 4th, 2007. What we're looking at here is the Aaron Cell four plates V system. Come a long way from the original system I was working on. What I'm working with here is the Widowmaker system trying to duplicate it up, trying to find out what was making it work. I believe I've unlocked a lot of the secrets to it. I'm going to show you that here. Eleven point eight eight volts, three point ninety three amps. Take that off now, it's creating a little bit too much hydrogen for us. One of the secrets seems to be the plate system should be divided into four sides instead of the one dimensional image we always had going on before. We used to think of plates as putting two together, positive and negative. It's actually four. Each plate can be divided into four pieces. The reason for that is there's a space between the top and the bottom. And you can divide the top into two sections and the bottom into two sections. The right side of the plate can be wider apart than the left side of the top of the plate and the right side of the bottom can be wider apart than the left side of the bottom and it does matter and you get two different types of bubbles when you do that at this point in time I really don't know what the two difference is yet but it's obvious when you look at it that it's there We know it has to be hydrogen, and we know it has to be oxygen. When you split water, that's what you get. The question is why we're getting two different kinds of bubbles. Speculation is that one of the bubbles is combining to make another. In this particular case, that can't be so, because the hydrogen bubbles are smaller than the oxygen bubbles. So the question now is, where is the oxygen bubble without going too deep with it? The oxygen bubble could still be on the plate. And the only thing that's being released is the hydrogen bubble. The reason I say that is because if you move it right now, we're going to release a million of the large bubbles. 
So what exactly is that doing for us? And the answer is probably, since we can get a higher concentration of hydrogen out of there, I'm going to move this around. If you look at that, this is why, or this is what I think is happening. Interesting phenomenon. I don't know quite what it is, but it could be oxygen. Whatever's happening, we're getting a higher concentration of hydrogen. You know, we'll take another look at that. It's just overwhelming the amount of hydrogen that's coming off of those plates. And as you watch it dissipate, you can see or not see the oxygen bubbles. So where are they? There was one I saw. Normally when you run the plates, you get a lot of oxygen bubbles coming up off the sides of the plates. We're not seeing that now. If they're trapped on the plates, we should start seeing it pretty soon. We'll start it up again. There's a few coming up there, but that cannot possibly be the amount of oxygen that is being separated off of those plates. So at this present time, we have to assume the oxygen bubble is being attracted to the plate and it's staying there, which eventually it's got to give it up. At any rate, wherever they are, we're showing a high concentration of hydrogen on the top, which we can use. Worst case scenario, we're producing a huge amount of hydrogen.